Welcome to my lecture online. If you looked at the previous video, we figured out how much we had to heat the steel ring in order to fit it over the brass shaft because the diameter of the brass shaft was greater than the inner diameter of the steel. So we had to expand the steel to fit it over. Then once things cooled down, let's say things cooled back down to 20 degrees centigrade, then that brass, that steel ring will very tightly fit around the brass. We call that heat fitting. Now the only way to remove that steel ring would be to cool both of them down. Now why would that be? Well, notice that the linear coefficient for brass is much larger than the linear coefficient for steel. But in other words, when we cool both of them down, the brass diameter will shrink faster than the inner diameter of the steel ring. So if we cool both of them enough, then the brass shaft will have shrunk to the point where the steel ring will be able to come off. Now, we're supposed to find the temperature at which that will happen. To do that, we have to realize that the brass, the diameter of the brass shaft has to shrink more than the inner diameter of the steel ring. How much more? Well, the difference between these two. So we can say that the change in the length and that would be in the change in diameter, so I won't call it length, I will call it diameter. The change in the diameter for the brass must be equal to the change in the diameter for the steel plus an additional 0.002 centimeters. So that's the equation that will help us solve it. Notice that the brass, the diameter of the brass shaft has to shrink more than the inner diameter of the steel. How much more? 0.002 centimeters more. And then if we change the equation to this, that the change in the diameter of the brass will be equal to the linear coefficient of expansion for brass times the original diameter for brass times the change in the temperature that will be equal to the linear coefficient of expansion for steel times the original diameter for steel times the change in the temperature and of course that delta t will be the same because the ring is fitted over the brass plus the additional 0.002 centimeter. And what we're trying to figure out here, we're trying to figure out the difference in the temperature, the change in the temperature. So what I'm going to do now is move this to the other side. So we have the linear coefficient of brass times the diameter of brass times delta t minus the coefficient, linear coefficient for steel diameter for steel times delta T is equal to 0.002 centimeters. So what we can do now is factor out the delta T. So now we can write that the delta T times the linear coefficient for brass times the diameter for brass minus the linear coefficient of steel times the diameter for steel. That must be equal to 0.002 centimeters. And finally, we can say that the difference in the temperature is equal to 0.002 centimeters divided by the coefficient for brass times the diameter for brass minus the coefficient for steel times the diameter for steel. Now let's go ahead and plug in the numbers and see what we get. So delta T is equal to 0.000, oh, too many zeros. Make that a 2, divided by for brass, 2.0 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree times the diameter for brass would be 3.002 centimeters minus the coefficient 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 for steel times that would be 3.000 centimeters like that. And that should give us the change in the temperature required to be able to pull off that steel ring. So let's work the diameter, the denominator first, 2 e to the 5 minus times 3.002 minus 1.2 e5 minus times 3 equals, take the inverse of that, and multiply that times 0.002 equals, and we have a change in the temperature of 83.2 degrees. So the delta temperature is equal to, what did I say, 83.2 degrees, 83.2 centigrade degrees. So that's the change in the temperature. Notice that we started at an initial temperature of 20 degrees centigrade, because that's the temperature at which these diameters 
were correct for the ring and the shaft. So then we can say that T final is equal to T initial minus, because it's a decrease in temperature, we're cooling both of them down, so minus the delta T. So this is equal to 20 degrees centigrade minus 83.2 centigrade degrees. So this would then be equal to minus 63.2 degrees centigrade. T final, that's rather cold. So you can see that if this was done through heat fitting, you would not be able to remove that ring until the temperature dropped below this. And there's not a lot of places in the world where temperature gets to be this low. So that ring is pretty well on there for good until you finally cool it down to that temperature. And that is how it's done.